This video will go over how to enter location site cross-reference data into FUDSCHEM. This is the next step, after a location definition file is entered and approved. We go over how to submit location data in our Loading Locations video tutorials. These videos are linked in the description. Location site cross-reference data ties locations to a specific site, which is used for sorting in certain interfaces and reports. Generally, the site corresponds to the property boundary and locations can be classified as on-site, off-site, or background. For especially big projects, the property can be divided into multiple sites with core approval. Go to Tools, Data Submission. Choose the correct project and event. Select Location Site XREF as our data type. Note that you have the option to create a file or upload file. For this example, we will create a CSV flat file to upload. We'll go to Reports, ADR and Submission Reports, Electronic Data Specification Fixed Width to look up what to include in our file. Choose Location Site XREF and click View Report. This report tells us Field Name What fields need to be included in the file? Data Type the type of characters the field will accept. This is defined at the bottom. For example, varcar is variable character field that can accept letters and numbers up to the maximum length. VVL, whether the field requires a valid value. Required, whether the field is required to be populated or can be left blank. Column width, the number of characters to include in a fixed width file. Start and End Position, where each column starts and ends in a fixed width file. Description, what the field actually contains. To prepare our file, we'll open a new spreadsheet in Excel. We'll name the columns of our spreadsheet after the field names listed in the specification. Dist ID, Site ID, Loc ID, GFC Code, SP Code. DIST ID is a five-letter code denoting what district you are in. The DIST ID is just US plus the three letters that appear in the database dropdown after your district name. For example, New England District would be USNAE. For the training database, this is USTRN. Site ID is established by Synectics when a new project is activated or a new site is requested. Synectics can provide you with the site ID for your project. For this example, our site ID is 1. Loc ID will be populated with location IDs that have already been entered and approved in FUDSCHEM. We will be entering cross-reference information for all five locations that were previously entered and approved. These are CRB-MW-466S, CRB-MW-467S, CRB-MW-474S, CRB-MW-477S, and CRB-MW-480S. We can see from the data specification that both GFC code and SP code will require valid values. To look these up, we will go back to the FUDSCHEM interface and go to Reports, ADR and Submission Reports, Valid Value Lists. Choose Location Site XREF in the dropdown and choose both data types. In this case, all five of our wells are down gradient from our contaminant source. Down gradient is listed in the Valid Value Report lists as D, so we will enter D for our GFC code for all locations. All five of our wells are on site, which the valid value report lists as O. We will enter O for our SP code for all of our locations. Once we are done entering the data, we will save the file as a CSV. Go back to the main FUDSCAM window. Under Tools, Data Submission, click Upload File. Make sure the file type is CSV and choose your file. Once it is uploaded, we will click the checkbox and choose Screen. 
Screening the file makes sure there are no errors flagged by the system. For example, it checks that the locations we entered are approved in FUDSCHEM and we didn't make any typos. For more information on screening checks, please refer to our Screening Checks Overview video. This video is linked in the description. If there were errors, we would be able to click on the number of errors to view an error report. We would update the file as needed, re-upload, then screen the new version. Since there are zero errors, we will click Certify to send this file into the queue for review. Once you have certified the file, send an email to the person who will approve the data and ask them to review and approve the location site cross-reference file. Depending on your district, this may be someone at the core or someone at Synectix. Once approved, you will be able to select the locations when entering information for other data types and to use the location in planning your event. Don't forget to subscribe to the FUDSCHEM YouTube channel for more tutorial videos. All of the tutorials and playlists mentioned during this video are linked in the description below. Lastly, if you have questions or comments, feel free to contact us at fuds.support at synectics.net. Thank you.